Sublime History. What is LibLime? As defined by Bloomberg Business, LibLime is a commercial entity providing implementation and development services around the open source integrated library system. LibLime is an Ohio-based company founded in 2005 by Joshua Ferraro. According to Bloomberg, LibLime is categorized under the industry of software and the sector of technology and under the sub-industry classification of application software. LibLime was developed for the purpose of supporting COA open source library systems, offering free software. It's licensed under the general public license. In its role of support, LibLime added a new feature to COA called Zebra Indexing. This new feature allowed for faster searches and gave the user the ability to reach a wider resource bank. In 2006, LibLine bought the assets of the company called Skimoda Solutions. The company is supported by COA and is based in the U.S. LibLine brought Katipo Communications in March 2007. Katipo is the original developer of COA. The next year was marked by a similar COA acquisition, Care Affiliates, Inc. 2009 was a year of controversy. LibLime was accused of forking the COA software, thus also forking the COA community. The accusation maintained that LibLime created the fork community webpage along with a separate source code. This separation remained active until LibLime was bought by PTFS, Progressive Technology Federal Systems. After its 2009 acquisition of COA, LibLime showed an increase in ILS market share. In 2010, COA had a 12% market share in the public library sector and only a 9% market share in the academic libraries. However, in an article in the Library Journal by Marshall Breeding, LibLime was shown to have an increase in their overall market share to 37%. Since then, LibLime has maintained a steady presence in the ILS market. Recently, in a 2014 survey sponsored by Library Technology Guides, LibLime rated above average in key areas such as ILS functionality, company satisfaction, and print functionality. LibLime was also rated exceptionally above average by a rating of 9 out of 10 in the area of open source interest. LibLime is a constant in the ILS market and is continuing to push forward as a solid COA support system. Strong points of LibLime, Mary Blankart. LibLime is the provider for COA integrated library automation. There are several positives about the provider of the library automation system. It is considered an OSS, that is, open source software. There is no licensing fee for the software, however, there is a fee based on the bibliographic record count of the library. In a case study by Bojan Makan, COA has more functionality. This study cited a medium academic library of 143,000 volumes. Brian Irene McDermott stated she felt it had a modest price tag and is technologically modern. In the article, a small public library goes open source. COA is used worldwide, hence there is a variety of languages available when integrating this open access. Over 35 different languages are listed in the active online community of users. It may be found at www.coa-community.org. Weaknesses of LibLine by Katherine Brecky. Weaknesses. Customer service does not seem to be one of the top ratings for LibLine. The customer service support ratings given for LibLine support for COA were low, with only Winnebago, Spectrum, and Athena receiving worse marks. LibLine's customer support and company ratings have steadily declined over the three years of the survey. In addition to lower customer service ratings, LibLime is relatively new and unproven. Current focus may be on improving functionality rather than greater innovation. There may be unanticipated workload as adaptations are made to fit local needs. Decentralized development may lead to chaotic progress and delays in fixing bugs. Customization may not be as great as commercial software, currently unfeasible for the larger and more complex libraries. Reasons for Recommending LibLime by Cheryl Diaz de Leon 
Reasons for recommending LibLime. It reduces cost because it is open source and has no software licensing fee. It has customer outstanding customer service support. All technical support is provided by LibLime at a reasonable price. LibLime libraries have continuous access to all of their data at all times with no charge. LibLime has a large number of available languages with more languages every year. It's highly scalable, hundreds of libraries, tens of millions of records. Conclusions about LibLime. Leslie Denny Rayford. LibLime has some benefits and challenges. LibLime currently supports the COA derivations for public and academic libraries. LibLime's variant of COA is not compatible with what developers in the larger COA community have developed. Probably not the best solution for schools and probably doesn't support library standards. Open source doesn't mean a free ILS. Hosting by LibLime with their COA Express for smaller libraries can be more than $5,000 for five years. Express is basic and doesn't benefit from any of the developments in the wider COA community and probably isn't sufficient to meet library standards. LibLime is one of several providers of support for the COA ILS. Bywater and Equinox COA providers outpace LibLime in new customers almost two to one. EBSCO is partnering with COA support companies working to improve speed and functionality, including ebook integration. None of the developments can be implemented with the LibLime variant. using Powtoon.